Have you ever asked yourself if short sales are worth it for the buyer? You've come to the right place, but this answer I'm going to give you might not be what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Don Thornton. I'm the short sale guy. I've been doing short sale investing for almost 20 years now. I've helped well over 1,500 homeowners get out from under an upside down property and do a short sale. So uh, I know my stuff, <laughs> let's put it that way. In this video, I'm going to tell you uh, about, you know, is it worth it? Is a regular short sale done by just a realtor worth it for a buyer? Is it worth it to buy from us? And, you know, why you should be looking for the bank approved short sale prices uh, when you're as a buyer looking for uh, whether to invest in a short sale or not. So regular short sales, what do I mean by that? I mean, when it's just a realtor, a realtor got a listing, he or she is trying to do a short sale doesn't really specialize in it, doesn't really know what they're doing. And in a word, no, it's probably not worth it. And well, you may be asking yourself, well, why, Don? What, why, would not, why, why would I want to do that? Because there's two ways you can do a short sale or two different outcomes, I guess I should say, right? A real estate agent who's just listening to the short sale and isn't in the business of creating equity, from a short sale. In other words, getting the pro getting the price down below market value. Realtors aren't going to do that and they don't know how to do that. That's the bottom line. So, I would say that it uh, all a realtor is going to do is just try to follow the bank's lead. The bank is going to be the one driving the bus. The bank's going to be telling them what to list the property at, what they're going to allow for it. And so, for all intents and purposes, you're going to be buying a retail price house. You can buy retail price properties anywhere on the MLS. All you have to do is just you know go to any listing. So my point is, is that you're not going to really find much equity if it's a real estate agent who's listed the property who doesn't really know how to do short sales. Okay, that's the bottom line. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know, if you disagree with me or if you have another opinion, or you just want to ask me something that has nothing to do with this, this at all about this particular topic, go down to the comments and leave me a, uh, a comment. I would love to, I love to engage my, with my viewers and uh, I would love to talk to you more about whatever it is you've, it's on your mind that has to do with investing or short sales. Leave a comment. I would love that. So let's talk about whether it's worth it for the buyer to buy our short sales that we're doing. And I would say, yes, here's why. Because... We're, I'm an investor, okay? I'm not interested in wasting my time on a short sale if it's just going to be a retail price. I want a discount. I want a significant discount. I want tens of thousands of dollars below. Now, I'm not greedy, okay? That's the biggest thing because a, lot of, a, a, a big mistake a lot of investors make who are trying to do a short sale is they go too deep. And the banks aren't stupid. They're not going to sit there... The, this is one of the pet peeves I have about investors that I talk with is they, they stopped doing short sales during the Great Recession, which was from 2007 to, let's say, 2012, uh, more or less. They, yes, back then you could get a $100,000 discount. Absolutely you could, but you can't do it anymore. It's really hard to do that. And you can spend so much time and effort, you know, banging your head against the wall to get a, a really huge discount. Meanwhile, you could have gotten another 10 to 15 short sales and you could go ahead and, and, and make, you know, make 15, 20,000 on it instead of trying to make 50 to $80,000 on it. So I would say that um, we are realistic and we, we value our relationships with the bank's negotiators because it's almost like a synergy we've got going with them where we know that, well, how far we can push and how far we can't. They trust us and know that we're not going to be asking for unreasonable discounts that cannot in any way, shape, or form be justified. Because you can remember this. The bank, the bank has to get, the bank negotiator has to get their, um, uh, their stamp of approval audited by uh, our higher ups. And they don't want to, they don't want to be accused of giving away the farm. And, so, and, and, you know, you don't want to go for a huge discount and maybe you get it to work one time, but then you burn your bridge with that negotiator and, and you won't get the benefit of the doubt anymore. So that's why it's really imp the way we, the way we approach it in our longevity and the relationships that we've been, the relationships that we've been, we've, we've built up for so long. 
it, that's why we've done so well in our business, okay? So I would tell you that if you're a buyer and you want to buy our properties, you're going to get them below market value. Most of the time, 98, 95% of the time, I'm not exaggerating. We do really well at that. And listen, if you like what I'm saying, if you like, or if you don't like what I'm saying, but you find it interesting, doesn't matter. If you find value in what I'm talking about and what I'm giving you in this uh, short sale and foreclosure uh, niche, go down to the uh, subscribe button and subscribe and get notified for when I, when I upload these new videos, so you can see what else I've got going on in this, uh, this mind of mine here as far as short sales go. So please uh, subscribe and like and comment. Love it. Um, now, for as a buyer, you definitely just want to be looking for a pr bank approved prices because that's you're going to you're going to circumvent and do a detour around the uh, process because the beginning of the process it's a little bit slower and you know you don't have the bank price yet you haven't done a value dispute once the bank comes back to get the final number so when you pretty much know this is the number that's it you can put your offer in and get it approved relatively quickly and get it closed so as a buyer my advice would be Focus on the ones that are working your way. You're almost done and you know the value has been determined by the bank and we know we can't go any farther than that. So that would be my advice is yes, absolutely short sales are worth it if you work with us or the very minimum if, if it's a bank approved short sale price. And so you know it's gone through most of the um, time consuming part of the short sale and this will go back, this will go more quickly. Now what I want you to do if you're a buyer I want you to go down to the description of this video and you'll see my Don Buys Houses video. Uh, excuse me, not video, but link and go in there, click on it. And there's, I have a section for investors and fill out your form or call me. My number's on there, reach out to me. And I would love to talk to you about how we can help you uh, get some under, undervalued um, real estate as a, for, for, for buyers. If you're a homeowner and you're looking to get, uh, you need to have a short sub because you're upside down on your mortgage and you want to sell, also go down to that same link, Don Buys Houses, and uh, fill, out, fill out some information and I'll be contacted and I'll, I'll make an appointment to talk with you and we can go over how we can help you out with your short sale. So whether you're an investor, you're a real estate agent, or you're a, a homeowner, we are the best at short sales in all aspects. So I look forward to hearing from you and I'm looking forward to talking to you in my next video. Thanks a lot.